This is the Playa Positioning System, also informally known as the Clock Hat, because, as you can see, it's a hat with, with a clock on front, with these brass hands, making a clock face. On the side, we have the control panel, and on the back, we have the servos and the uh, gear system, which controls the clock hands on the front. Inside is, well, a bit of a mess. You can see the one of the shafts um, going to the front clock face. Um, the other one is coaxially inside of it, of course. You have an Arduino. Underneath that is a uh, terminal screw terminal breakout shield. And then under that is a GPS shield. Over there to the right a bit, there's a real-time clock, and then a battery, and then the switches on the control panel. So this is the control panel up close. It's uh, riveted to the side of the hat. Uh, etched brass like I like to use for panels like this. It's a power switch on the left and then a mode switch on the right where you can switch between four different locations. So here on the back we have the two servos which power it and these are attached to a laser cut um, 1 to 3 gear ratio uh, because servers only turn about 180 degrees so this guarantees that uh, we can rotate the uh, the clock hands more than 360 degrees to make sure that they can they can access everything that they need to um, and still using standard uh, RC servos so here's how it works we turn it on and the clock hands will go to whatever the current mode says so right now it's set to uh, Cascadia, so that's uh, Pacific Time. So if I turn these on and it'll boot up, it'll move on around to about, hmm, what is that, 205? Uh, my watch says 105 because I haven't changed this for um, Daylight Savings yet, which happened last night. So ignoring that little detail, not bad. We can also change it to Londinium, as so, or New Amsterdam. But then on the top, there's a Black Rock City mode, which, as you might know, is actually in Pacific time. So why would I add a second mode for that? Because that uses the GPS and tells us not when we are, but where we are. It it chooses, it sets our radial address using Burning Man clock face addressing conventions. Now, that's not very interesting right now because Seattle's a good 900 miles away from the playa, so this is pretty well set and never going to change. But on the playa, um, as I walk around, that would be updating where I am, not when I am. Unfortunately, it wasn't finished in time for Burning Man this year, but um, next time I go, I'll have it.